Police say that thieves are hitting a Beloit neighborhood, stealing, of all things, their sewer grates. Investigators say 25 of the grates have been taken off city streets since Sunday. Rock County reporter Margo Spann has the latest on the investigation. Residents on Hemlock Street in Beloit are buzzing over their new neighbors. Didn't really notice them because they weren't there this morning when I left. These bright orange construction barrels lining the curb are covering up the holes where sewer grates used to be. I mean, be careful now that I know that's going on. Beloit police believe thieves are stealing the cast iron grates and selling them. We've alerted all of our local uh, scrap dealers or scrap yards and they're uh, aware that uh, these are being stolen and, and uh, will notify us if uh, anyone brings them in to their scrap yards. Captain Vince Chimay says each grate weighs more than 120 pounds. Crews with the Department of Public Works have been hitting the streets in this near east side neighborhood, securing the holes until all the covers can be replaced. Some residents say people are turning to the gutter to solve their money problems. It's just too bad. The economy is so bad that uh, people got to do something to stay alive. Times are hard. I guess people are taking them to make money on them which makes it awful dangerous for vehicles such as motorcycles and bicycles. Even though the barrels are a bit of a nuisance, Wayne Rice admits they are necessary to keep residents safe until police are able to curb the thefts. And if they come around there too fast, they can go up into the, one of the houses there and hit hurt somebody in there. Captain Shimei is warning potential copycat thieves to be aware that city workers are now welding those grates into place, making it tougher for them to be stolen. He also says it's going to cost the city to uh, about $200 to replace each one of them. All right, Margaret Spann reporting tonight. Thanks.